hey, I know you guys are busy prepping for the AP exam here in about two months away, and I know that it's really stressful. Um, I've been really busy. I've been wanting to do more on the channel and give you guys more resources to help you guys out with things. And um, I actually recently had to close down the Discord server because um, I've been just been too busy helping my current students and things like that. But I do want to give you, offer you guys something to help you out. And I'm always trying to think of ways to like give you guys like a little bit more to help you out in, in some of the things. So what I wanted to do was give you guys the notes and FRQs for practice. Um, you know, you can find all of these things on the College Board website. It's just, it's sort of my thoughts, my steps, my practice problems, as well as the FRQs for particular topics for all the AP Physics, AP Calculus. Um, I'm just gonna start off with AP Physics 1, C, and Calculus, but let me kind of show you. I'll, I'll share um, what I'm talking about here, is I'm gonna release for you guys this spreadsheet here it of, um, of um, let me just zoom it in here. What you can see is that it's a Google Sheet. I'm gonna share it. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. And um, for all the AP Physics, what you'll see here is there's a Google Docs. And let's say you wanna look up, let's say you're really kind of stuck on rotation or want some rotational practice. What it's gonna pull up are my notes, my notes specifically on this stuff here, right? So my the equations for rotational kinematics, my concepts, some examples. Um, down here, this is probably the most useful part, some of the AP problems. Um, some of these come from those workbooks that you can uh, that College Board had, or um, sometimes like they are past FRQ questions. Um, so, like for example, let's say I go to the simple harmonic motion notes here. Um, what you'll see is you'll see them. Sometimes they'll be organized by oh, here's the 2018 free response number five that dealt with harmonic motion, or the 2022 number five that dealt with harmonic motion. Um, and it's organized. Like I said, you can find these FRQs on the College Board website, but um, I, I've organized them for my students and I wanted to share that with you guys here. Um, couple of notes, you will see some link to solution type stuff in here. That leads to the course material, unless you have purchased the course, like you won't actually see any of the videos, um, but you can maybe find some of the YouTube ones if if they're around, but those are more revised ones that are updated um, and actually have like, there's no mistakes in them or as minimal mistakes. Um, so you don't have to click on them, but at least you'll have the practice questions there kind of for you. Um, but yeah, the, the solution stuff only appears in the, um, in the uh, if, you, if you have access to the curriculum. So don't, you don't bother clicking on them. That's just, I keep a single document, living document for all of my students. And over the years, so this will be, I will always update this. So when the 2024 FRQs come in, I will organize them and put them in the appropriate topic. So this document will like kind of always live live that way, okay? So um, what you can see is that there are four tabs and I may add the AP Physics 2. They're not quite like as quite as perfect as I would like them to be. So, but there's the AP Physics C Mechanics, the AP Physics C Electricity and Magnetism. And again, it's kind of the same things. Um, and then the Calculus one, Calculus one's very interesting. This one's really useful for you. Has all of the units here. Uh, I gotta change my unit numbering, but you know, bookmark this page because I will I will change this. But I think for calculus, one of the really useful ones for you, whether you're doing A, B, or B, C, is I te I organize the FRQs by type for over the years. So the rate FRQs I put in here, the data table FRQs, uh, interpreting graphs, just ones that are of a similar style that you can practice. Um, it, applications of integration. What I have is uh, generally up through type seven is what I call general calculus. That will be um, for the AB. And then after that, there are the BC specific FRQs. So there are some, occasionally there's a differential equations that's BC specific or parametric equations. Again, BC only if you're practicing those as well as uh, polar or parametrics or series. Um, those are the last kind of four types specific to BC that you may wanna, if you wanna practice any of those. Um, this one, the BC ones, I, I wouldn't, I'm still filling out, but this is probably the most useful document for a lot of you. I think you'll find it 
really helpful to just practice um, and have them. And like I said, I will keep them up to date. You can find all of these on College Board if you prefer not to. Uh, if you prefer to just go to the source on the College Board website, look at old questions, totally fine. Um, it's just I have it. I like to centralize it one spot um, for practice for my students and things like that. Again, uh, just like the previous one, link to solutions will only be there if you um, have access to the the course materials, which you know you can purchase if you want. Otherwise, just use them for practice. Honestly, um, there's usually an overview section on the calculus ones that'll just kind of give you like a my, my general thoughts. Um, ignore the link stuff if you're not going to use any of that. So anyway, I, I hope that this is really helpful for you. Um, I will try to build it out for statistics and some of the other in AP Physics 2. I, I, I do have notes. I don't want to make them totally shareable or public yet. Um, but feel free to share this. Feel free to spread the links. This is something, this is something that I'm, I think I'm good to share with everyone that you guys can all look at. And um, I hope you really find this helpful. Um, as you're practicing things. So um, yeah, I just appreciate all of your guys' support on the channel. I wanted to make sure that I had something to give to you guys. Um, and I'm always very trying to think of that um, between the videos, between the lessons, notes. It's just one of those things that can be really helpful for you. Um, so yeah, I, I, I honestly do wish you guys luck as you are prepping for, um, for your AP exams. If you have any questions, send them. I'm still doing the weekly questions. Um, even if it's calculus, physics C, or anything like that. I haven't, I've been mostly doing physics one questions, but if you guys have questions on physics C problems or physics two or um, anything like that, um, send them over. I'm happy to um, take a look at them, give you an explanation, things like that. So I'll see you guys next time.